Hey, what's up everyone? This is Tyson from Tyson's of CNC. Tyson's of CNC, dude, trying to steal my gig right here. <laughs> but hey, check this out. You guys already know my son. We've been seeing him on some of these vlogs, making all the Titans of CNC Academy aerospace parts. But what you don't know is how he actually started programming and making rocket parts. And it's not how everybody else learns. Literally with a launch in Jeopardy, I took Tyson and threw him into the pool with a bunch of ink and L and titanium and Nitronic 60 and I was like, dude, you gotta get all of this done right now or this thing's not gonna blast off like boom! Oh. Check this out, like you guys have seen Tyson like making these incredible parts and stuff. You guys have seen him like going and helping people with autism and you guys know his story and stuff. And uh, he's my oldest son, right? And of course, every dad wants his sons to come and work with him, right? But the way this all happened was kind of crazy, right? So Tyson did come and you came and worked for me, right? Mm -hmm. But you wasn't happy about it. No. Rather do other things at the time. Yeah, 18 years old, right? Not work. <laughs> Not work, exactly. But I was like, dude, if you're gonna like live in my house, you're gonna work at McDonald's, you're gonna like work at the shop, you're gonna work somewhere, but you're gonna go to work in the morning, and uh, until you find another job, you're gonna work at the shop. And you dreaded it. Yep. But after probably about six months, you started like kind of kicking in the gear. Right? Yeah. Showing up to work on time, keeping machines running. I wasn't taking a whole lot of responsibilities, but you know, just, just showing up every day and doing my thing. Yeah. You, he wasn't trying to be a programmer though. No, no, no. I did, no, you, I did everything I could. You tried to get a few guys to show me programming, but I didn't he, want anything. He to didn't do want with any it. part of it, right? <laughs> but you know, when I started the shop, I was doing lathes and mills, right? But I was more of a mill guy. And so when my son came in, I was just like, you know what, if the whole earth like drops, you know what I mean? And if I'm a mill guy, more on the mill side, I want him to actually be a lathe guy. So I had a, an awesome guy who's machining, who's just a, just a journeyman, awesome machinist that could run pretty much anything. And I basically put Tyson in as his setup guy. And uh, over the years, you would learn a lot. Yeah. Crazy, I, right? Until one day, and this is where the story begins. So, I'm not gonna mention names, but uh, let's just say that there's a big old rocket company, multi-billion dollar company, right? And they got a launch coming up, and they need all of these parts, and they give me probably four months to get these things done. And we're cranking on rocket parts. Like, we're cranking all the machines, everything, like parts, 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 like under a lot of stress trying to make things happen. And we're running parts for multiple rocket companies, right? And, and the person who was over Tyson, I would go and talk to him and be like, you know, how's this series of drawings doing? And he'd be like, oh, everything's good, right? And I'll be like, you know, awesome. So you got the programs? And he's like, yeah, I've been programming them, getting all set up, getting all my tools ready, boom, boom. And I'm like, all right, because they just called me and they just said, like, if you actually fail on this, like, you're going to put everything in jeopardy. Like, this cannot be late. These parts have to be on time. So I kept talking to my guy and I kept saying, like, dude, like, the, the parts aren't on the machines right now and we need to get those things on. And the material showed up and I see them sitting on the pallets and sitting on the pallets and nothing's happening. And then one day I literally walked in and I said, I'm like, you got them all programmed? And he's like, he's like, yep, I got them all this and I'm like, open your computer and show me the programs. Show me the simulation and like, show me everything right now. And literally, he didn't have anything done. He didn't have anything done. And I was just, my heart stopped and just dropped and I was like, oh my God, like, what am I gonna do? Like, oh, and I was so busy on the mill side and just with the overall company and and like, I hadn't been on the lathes for a while and I was just like, oh, what am I gonna do? And I can't hire somebody, right? And then all of a sudden, the guy doesn't come into work the next day and never came again. And I was like, oh no, like the company's calling me and like, are you good with the parts and this and this? And I'm like, oh, what do I do? And now we're inside of six weeks and we're, they're big parts, they're 
crazy parts, crazy tolerances, like intense and just all absolute positioning and like just not only lays like, you know, multiple ops on the lays, but mill also, mm -hmm. fourth axis also, yep. right? So I called you into my office. Yeah, you basically told me we had six weeks left to do all these parts and there was nobody to program them. So pretty much gave the job to me. Here's the kicker, right? Had you ever programmed a job before? Absolutely not. <laughs> Did everything I could to not have that responsibility because I just wanted to run machines and exactly know, so home. right now the company is in jeopardy we're gonna lose our customer and you gotta understand the company when they come and talk to me they're just like look it's not just this one launch it's like the whole world's looking at us our whole reputation is on the line and if you guys fail you're gonna make us fail it's a little bit of pressure right but basically, I went to Tice and I just said, look, Tice, I got nothing else. I can't hire anybody else. I can't do anything. Like, you have to do this. You're smart enough. You've been setting these up for like the last four years. You've been setting up Titanium and 15.5 and Nitronic and setting the tools and you've been doing all of it. So you understand machining, okay? And this is the lesson and this is the reason why we're telling you this story. You understand the machining. You understand the depths of cuts, right? So. We're going to give you, meaning myself, and help, we're gonna actually give you the depths of cuts. You already know the tools, so we're gonna give you the depths of cuts, the, the speeds, the feeds, and all of it. And I'm gonna have the CAD CAM guys come down and give you a crash course, and we're gonna bring in the tooling guys, bring in Canamental, bring in everyone, and basically give you what you need to be successful. But we gotta start putting the time in. There's nothing we can do. We gotta get the parts done and they gotta ship on time, period. Yeah, when you told me that, I couldn't really say no to it. So, you just got, you got so, going he's, on he's it. So, he's so like, <laughs> he's so like, yeah. I just yeah, went, no, so I just went and made rocket just, parts. And, no big deal. You know, no big deal. And another day in the shop. Another day in the <laughs> shop. And you know, not like I haven't been under pressure for the last 10 years, you know, because my dad puts everything on my shoulders, you know, like. I, I mean, it was pretty stressful, but it was, it was extremely it was stressful. It was crazy. But. I mean, you, you, with the finishes, you had eight finishes inside of crazy crevices and like, you know, and you're dealing with, you know, Nitronic 60, you know, titanium, ink, you know, that's not easy stuff to cut. No, but you know, because I had a lot of experience setting up the machines and running similar parts, when I got to the computer and we had the guys come by and show me where all the operations were, I don't even think he really covered in depth on how to do the programming. He just kind of pointed out, you know, I asked him, how do I do a turn cycle on this? How do I do a group cycle? And he kind of showed me that. So, you know, because because I had that experience, I was pretty much able to get the programs done. Yeah, and he got them done. He got them set up. He got them machined. He got them through inspection. It was systematic. Boom, boom, boom. Worked late hours. Made it all happen. We shipped all the parts. Every single one was perfect to print. Delivered on time completely saved the day for our customer. And that was his learning process for learning how to actually program parts, right? Yeah. That's the lesson right there, right? Because it's, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. The programming software really does all the work for you. Exactly. You're just telling it what you want to do, what direction you're cutting in. And it's even easier on a lathe than it is on a mill. Yeah. Because you're not dealing with so many axes. We didn't have a five axis machine at the time, so we were just going, you know, it was basic lathe stuff. Exactly. Lathe, and even like the fourth axis, we take the yeah. fourth axis and we flip it up on angles and do different fixtures and different yeah. tooling and different things and stuff. But look. That is what we're doing with the Titans of CNC Academy. That's what he's doing right now. He's running parts and he's basically giving you guys tutorials with the speeds, the feeds, the depths of cut, everything. He's giving you the perfect ingredients to cut Inconel, to cut Monel, to cut A286, to cut Nitronic, to cut Haynes 188. All the toughest things. The whole aerospace world is blowing up. $800 billion industry is turning into a $3 trillion industry over the next years. And who is teaching this stuff? Who's teaching it? This is not stuff that they're gonna send overseas. 
or if you're overseas, send over to America. This is stuff that you have to make and you have to actually pivot on a dime and correct it and get it onto that rocket like ASAP right now, right? And if they have a problem, they need to go down the street. So we, we see an opportunity here to actually teach you guys. So make sure you guys take notes, look at the videos. It's, not, it's, it's entertainment, but we're putting down the chip loads, right? The fee per rev. We're putting down the surface, but we're putting everything down. And then we're putting all the videos up on Titans of CNC Academy, academy.titansofcnc, in master class. And you have fundamentals and, and you got everything else, but in master class, we're giving you the ingredients so that you guys can grab it, take you to the bank, quote with it, buy those tools, and actually go and make rocket parts and actually be successful, right? It sounds a lot easier than what I had to do. So, you know, having, having exactly. a whole website, you can just look at all Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And then you can just go learn CAD, learn CAM. And we basically, I always say, treat me like I'm your uncle or your cousin or whatever, right? And just have faith, have faith in him because when he's teaching and understand that we're going to show you the trade. We're going to teach you the trade and we're going to give you everything. We're not going to leave anything out. I'm going to teach you how to make a part from conception to finished part. Boom. 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 <laughs> little, and he, he's got a little bit of experience making rocket parts for so many years. Yeah, just a little. He's everybody's <laughs> best friend. He's, he was really good on computers, though. Great on computers. Mm -hmm. So when he jumped on, he just was like, okay, I understand the tools. Let's just make it all happen and it all worked out. That's right. Right? So when the going gets tough, don't run away from it. Stand in the pocket and just talk to your tooling guys. Talk to your software guys, talk to everybody that has experience, surround yourself with the right people, gain that knowledge and actually do that work and then you will be successful. Somebody told me a long time ago, if you can solve huge problems, you'll be incredibly successful and I've wrapped my whole life around it. And now he solves my problems, which makes him incredibly valuable too. <laughs> all day long. I think the most important thing is don't give up. Ask questions. If you can't get a hold of someone or you know you're struggling, just give it a try. Play around with the operations, you know, experiment, see what works. You know, try out the tool path and see what it does. You know, maybe you're going to fail a few times, but maybe one of those times you'll get it right. Yeah. I think the software just takes the tools and it, it wraps around surfaces. You say go on the left side, go on the right side, and you give all the information. Mm -hmm. It is a tool to make things quicker. So just have confidence, put the time in to hone your skills. And I uh, don't believe, I, I think you, like, you weren't even sure if you'd be able to do it, mm -hmm. but we threw you in, you made it all happen. Success story right here. All right, guys, trying to make some shorter vlogs over here. So like we are out of time, but crazy story, right? Go get it. Go get it. Oh, all right, guys. Boom, Boom, we're out.